I love about the work that I get to do because you get to meet fantastic people. That's what the Red Affair is all about. Yes. And we have gotten, no offense, this is Bruce, but we're gonna start over here with this beautiful lady. Yes. This is Lana. She is a jewelry designer and a fashion model. And Lana, I have to say, you knocked it out of the park today. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about your outfit because everyone is in red for the Red Affair. How did you come to decide this one? Uh, you know, I have passion my passion for fashion oh. and why I do jewelry because you know my each outfit has to have just jewelry only for this you know yes. and I do jewelry for my friends for my customers mm -hmm. to make them happy and look unusual oh. look more beautiful than we are to show beauty inside from, uh, from outside you know so you are creative with your yes, art pieces yes. and the jewelry to really express the inner beauty of the person that's wearing them yes I will usually before I do like others I talk with person I try mm -hmm. to understand I try to see feelings what person has for life yeah I love that well Bruce you're here tonight at the Red Affair you got this beautiful lady on your arm here so tell me about the work that you're doing and how do you get tied into all this who do you know oh Anya is was my first uh, <laughs> Um, PR lady. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, started uh, Go E3 11 years ago wow. with the first stations to ever connect Phoenix and Tucson with fast chargers for electric cars nice. that support all the market. Now, of course, everything went neutral when Volkswagen got all the money, so it's we, we're starting over and relaunching. We now have a system that's 350 kW that's designed to go into existing travel centers and replace the gas pumps in the locations where they're at. So we're, and we have revenue streams that make them money instead of costing them money. But she need, you need to tell about this one. She just got finished from Vegas. And her, 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 yeah, so she's, uh, she's called one of a kind. That's her models. So oh. everything is, it's really artwork. But what we're trying to do is make uh, corridor based charging. We were the first ones that ever did it. And we're, uh, we're, just coming back with a, with a vengeance. So. Because you know business. Yeah, and, yeah, I did. And as a business owner, we're going into a new year. So what kind of advice would you give to someone? Because I, it's tricky. Well, what I would say right now is stop being afraid and stop taking actions that uh, you must because fear will destroy us. Yeah. And, um, and don't buy the, the partisan crap about electric cars either side because there's, there's, the truth is America developed the first electric car in 1830. Mm. They built them in 1903 through 1918. And it's an American invention and we should be being proud of it. Nice, well I appreciate that little bit of history. You never know what you're gonna get on the red <laughs> carpet here at the Red Affair. Well, Bruce and Lana, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. All right, pose for a picture. Let's pose for a picture. Yes. Let's get in here and pose for a picture. <laughs> 